हे गाइस द लास्ट वीडियो वाज अबाउट द सेकंड ईयर ऑफ बीडीएस दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट द मिड ऑफ द जर्नी द थर्ड ईयर आपने अपना फ्रेशर्स ले लिया कि जूनियर्स को यू हैव वेलकम देम नाउ इट्स द मिडल ऑफ द जर्नी एंड ये बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग एंड एक्साइटिंग ईयर है काफी रिलैक्सिंग है एंड इट्स अ वेरी यू नो द बेसिक्स ऑफ योर डेंटिस्ट्री मेनली फ्रॉम दिस ईयर योर फैमिली मेंबर्स योर फ्रेंड्स नॉन मेडिकल स्टार्ट गिविंग यू प्रिस्क्रिप्शन की जरा बेटा हमें पढ़ के बताओ हमें कौन सी मेडिसिन लेनी चाहिए ये कौन सी मेडिसिन डॉक्टर ने दे दी है सो एंड इट्स ऑल्सो अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ईयर बिकॉज यू स्टार्ट डूइंग पेशेंस आई डोंट थिंक देर इज एनी अदर ब्रांच इन द मेडिकल दैट अलाउज यू टू ट्रीट पेशेंट्स फ्रॉम द वेरी अंडर ग्रेजुएट ईयर सो डेंटिस्ट्री इज समथिंग जो आप थर्ड ईयर से स्टार्ट करने लग जाते हो यू डू योर फर्स्ट पेशेंट इन थर्ड ईयर सो देर इज वाइट कोट सेरेमनी जो इंडिकेट करता है दैट इट इज समथिंग दैट यू हैव एंटर द क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस एंड नॉट जस्ट द बुक्स एंड द थ्योरी और द प्री क्लिनिकल बट द क्लिनिकल सो देर आर मेनली थ्री एग्जाम्स विच यू हैव टू गेट जनरल मेडिसिन जनरल सर्जरी एंड ओरल पैथोलॉजी वेन इट कम्स टू जनरल मेडिसिन द टॉपिक्स विच यू मस्ट बी वेरी अवेयर आर बिकॉज दीज टॉपिक्स आर गोइंग टू बी हेल्पफुल फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ एंड यू विल बी एबल टू कनेक्ट टू इट विद दैम वेरी इजिली बिकॉज दीज आर गोइंग टू हेल्प यू फॉर एवर डायबिटीज थाइरॉइड एपिलेप्सी हाइपर टेंशन द इंट्रामस्कुलर इंटरवीनस इंजेक्शन इफ यू गेट टू लर्न एंड ट्रीट द पेशेंट्स प्लीज गो हेड विद दैट इट्स वेरी बेसिक एंड हर डेंटिस्ट को आना चाहिए मलेरिया टाइफॉइड थाइरॉइड मीजल्स मम्स और द इम्यूनाइजेशन बेसिक इम्यूनाइजेशन जो एक डेंटिस्ट के लिए डॉक्टर के लिए होना चाहिए एंड द बेसिक इम्यूनाइजेशन जो आप बच्चों के लिए यू नो प्रेफर करते हो शॉक एंड सी पी आर दीज टू थिंग्स आर ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज हमें सी पी आर देना आना चाहिए सी पी आर के बारे में पता होना चाहिए इट कैन हैपन एनी वेयर बी इट वाइल्ड ट्रेवलिंग और बी इट इन द क्लास आउटसाइड द क्लास एनी वेयर जनरल मेडिसिन इज बेसिकली अबाउट थ्री थिंग्स साइंस सिम्टम्स एंड ट्रीटमेंट अगर हमें मौका मिले टू सी द अदर पेशेंट्स अदर दिन द डेंटल वन तो हमें ओपीडी में जाके विजिट करना चाहिए चेस्ट एक्सरेस को रीड करना आना चाहिए जस्ट द बेसिक्स ऑफ इट डोंट गो टू मच इन टू इट बट एज अ डॉक्टर दिस जनरल मेडिसिन इज द बेसिक्स देर इज वन वेरी फनी इंसिडेंट दैट हैपन एंड यू नो इन डेंटिस्ट्री इन ऑल द फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ बी डी एस मेरे को एक भी बात याद नहीं होगी किसी टीचर ने क्या बोला you know but there was just one thing that i remember from the general medicine um we had a sir uh, he was awesome and uh, during one lecture i think we were reading about liver so uh, during that lecture he said that every day 35 ml approx alcohol if taken is good for the health and that is the only line that i remember i think it was 30 35 something ml and only that line is something that stayed with me till now stomach or acidity or gastritis stomach related diseases because when we give antibiotics uh in the clinics or in any hospital then we must be sure that the patient doesn't get into diarrhea or constipation or mainly uh, antibiotics and the gas related things are interrelated so stomach se bhi related hame cheeze pata honi chahiye maybe emesis the vomiting anti emetic drugs so these are the basics of the general medicine general surgery general surgery mein guys three cheeze bahut zyada important hai iske bina aapka koi bhi exam pura nahi hoga be it any ug mds jr or any exam you give that is sutures sterilization and ludwig's angina ludwig's angina to be it every day are you go in any interview they will be asking you about ludwig's angina so these three things are the basics and especially after this covid era this covid pandemic uh, sterilization is very important general surgery is mostly about the instruments learning how to operate with them and also in surgery also if you could give im iv you know we should know about catheters general surgery is mostly about the instruments and how to operate with them
like for general surgery i have shinoy and i have das uh, das very important for the case history uh, case history is beautifully given in this and for the general medicine i have chug for oral pathology which we will be discussing now i have burkitts burkitts was my second hand and i have shapers that was my original that i bought so these are mainly the books and this is the basics agar aap burkitts ya fir aap um, shapers ko word by word line by line padhenge it's more than enough you don't need any other book but i have uh, linked down the books given below you can see just in case if you have if you want to know any more reference to the books uh, the top one is highly recommended for all the bds students and the newly freshers that's it these 5 6 years students ke liye bahut zyada important hai i have been stressing over it because i know um when we are in bds we are not exactly clear about the scenarios so this book will present you the exact case of dentistry in india and how to go about it oral pathology mein aapka cyst tumors developmental anomalies is very important because no matter what tooth you it's extract after extraction it might have numerous roots it it might be torontism or any other thing so we must know ki wo jo hamare paas tooth aaya hai वो दिख कैसा रहा है डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ विटामिन इफ अगर विटामिन सी की डेफिशिएंसी है तो कैसा होगा बिकॉज मोस्टली बहुत सारे पेशेंट्स आते हैं विद अल्सर्स एंड टंग डिस्कलरेशन और टंग डिफॉर्मिटीज जो हमेशा विटामिन के साथ जुड़ी होती है तो आपको वो ध्यान में रखना है हॉलमार्क ऑफ द डिजीजेस ये आपका बहुत पूछा जाएगा ओल पैथोलॉजी इज द मेन सेक्शन ऑफ योर एम तो ऑल दो इक्वल मार्क is given to each subject but oral pathology is really very important as a dentist point of view so aapko hallmark of each disease pata hona chahiye specifically from the theory because uh, aap se kuch bhi pooch sakte hain mcq mein ki what this uh, disease has one specific thing that you will see in the slide so that is very important the triads uh, like kisi disease mein three ट्रायड होता है थ्री सिम्टम्स या साइंस का ट्रायड होता है तो वो होना चाहिए सिंड्रोम्स हमें पता होना चाहिए द बेसिक्स ऑफ एवरीथिंग एंड ओल पैथोलॉजी इज अ सब्जेक्ट दैट अगर आपको फोरेंसिक्स में जाना है या नहीं इंटरेस्ट है या नहीं दैट यू कैन सी इन ओल पैथोलॉजी इन द थर्ड ईयर आई हैव वेरी वेरी कीन इंटरेस्ट ऑन फोरेंसिक्स ओडोंटोलॉजी एंड फोरेंसिक्स सो आई हैव एन इंटरव्यू uh with dr abraham johnson i will link that up i have also one interview of uh with dr puneet ahuja who has tell the basics like the myth is broken oral pathology is not a non medical is not a non clinical subject dentistry mein koi bhi non clinical subject nahi hai so that interviews also i will link up and uh, forensics mein aapko interest hai ya nahi this is the time to see for it because uh, your shafers has one chapter of forensics so agar aapko usme interest hai in our time ek question to pakka aata tha from forensics maybe it's lip prints maybe it's bite marks but one question definitely used to come so aap ye padh sakte hain for the oral pathology guys there are few mistakes that are common in every here and in every video i say that again and again and this video is also for third years also have few mistakes that we definitely do so please avoid them that is a uh, clim complete your quota the file or everything you have 3 months prior yes please complete that your oral pathology file your general medicine general surgery any files you have before 3 months do not waste time in group study at the end of the year end of the year is specifically for your own self study uske pehle ke liye third year is the best oral pathology ye jo subjects hain ye better understand honge aapko if you do group study but not at the end of the year give your best in the internals or the test uh, whatever you have class tests because aap ek answer likho lekin usko aisa likho that you are appearing for the final do not study for marks guys because nobody asks you the marks trust me nobody asks you the marks nobody wants to know matlab it's a good thing that uh, you may be a gold medalist or something but at the end it doesn't matter because what matters is that you have passed your bds every year in one attempt 
and marks doesn't matter if you are good at your theory or strong the basics are clear you will eventually get marks that's a side effect of it but do not study for marks please specifically one mistake that is that we usually make for the third year is we are afraid to do patience so come on please you are starting with your uh, first patient in third year don't be afraid third year to galti karne ke liye bana hai so please guys do not be afraid do mistakes but jitna jaldi aap patients karoge utna jaldi aapka quota and everything will be get finished and also you will get better cases agar aap anterior tooth ki rct hi nahi kar pa rahe then how will you get the uh, molars or premolars for that matter Uh, so please do the cases and when you will do some some case maybe just one scaling one rct make sure of starting se leke end the do it perfection of course 100% perfection nahi ho sakta hai in every case you do maybe aap 30 years ke experience dentist ho jao perfection is nothing but i what i'm saying is ek hi case karo lekin usko apna best karo complete karo yani just leave it in the a uh, middle of the treatment patient na hai that is some another thing but just do let's go shift from quantity to quality that is what i'm saying get uh, the first selfie with your first patient that is a you know very must thing to do also um click pictures pre and post operative treatment ka Uh, maybe it's an X-ray आपने working length का लिया then you took the obturation X-ray maybe it's आपने कोई scaling की तो उससे पहले एक picture ले ली this was the before and this was the after for your own record also for the patient education because the more you see the more you realize and the more you understand and guys when in third year we enter the clinic clinic there might be some demos happening there might be something uh, you know we are observing some patient jo bahut seen a doctor kar raha there might be anything so ho sakta hai ma'am ya sir koi aisi word ya aisi koi baat bol de some aisi tip you know tricks jo wo dobara ho sakta hai na bole and you have to remember it because this is your first time so i always kept a diary i still kept a diary um whenever i go to a clinic um no matter which clinic it is even if it's for an interview i keep a small diary and a pen and i keep on noting down whatever i think is important maybe some word maybe some medicine maybe some treatment i ask the teacher i either click the pictures of the medicine or either i ask them if i have a good rapo and uh, that could you please write the medicine in my diary because i may not be able to spell it right or either i ask them to dictate me so that i can write so that is very important because clinics mein jab aap jaate ho to aisi cheeze pata chalti hai which is not given in your theory and wo aapko kabhi bhi theory se samajh mein nahi aayengi so wo aapko hamesha sirf seniors ya fir practice karke hi aayega so there can be anything maybe you have to note down some patient ka detail so keep an i diary and a pen always always and always do not do competition guys please do not do competition ki meri friend ne to itne cases kar liye mera itna reh gaya sab kuch ho jayega aap sab seekh jaoge lekin please jo bhi karo usse apna best do aur khud karo that is the only tip i can give you for the third year because that is the starting of your clinical practice the first time you will be operating on a patient that's a very big thing so and at the end third year is very relaxing so chill pill lo aapne second year pass kiya hai abhi that that is a very complex and a challenging year so uske alawa aap participate karo be it sports fest any function aap present karo seminars webinars present a presentation poster in the conferences uh, do anything live your hostel life because i wasn't a hostler but i made sure that one or two days or something whenever i get the chance i stayed in the hostel so ye sab third year is the best year at least for me it was so enjoy and the next video will be for the final years take care stay safe stay healthy bye bye